Hey everyone, so today I want to give you a brief overview over the journey that Farfetch has taken in the direction of creating a stronger and more reliable platform. For context, Farfetch is the leading global platform in the luxury fashion industry with over 3.5 million worldwide active users. As of 2020, our platform is used by over 1,400 luxury sellers across multiple data centers and is generating over $3 billion in gross merchandise value. Looking inwards, we have about a thousand services that are created by our team of 2,500 engineers. And we monitor these services by using our in-house observability stack that is built on top of open source technology like Prometheus or Grafana. And we do this because these systems have a significant community and a very active user base in the tech industry. At Farfetch, we continue to strive to provide our customers and partners the best quality of service. And as such, visibility over the overall state of the platform is paramount. So this visibility helps us understand how a platform is dealing with incoming traffic in, in situations like um, on-the-spot item drops that they generate high volumes of traffic in very short bursts of time or massive calls to our APIs that are generated along a long period of time in a behavior similar to key dates like Black Fridays or Singles Days. So both of these scenarios can be problematic as the platform is required to adapt and scale to accommodate for the amount of requests. So this visibility and knowledge is key to continuous successful events. Having a clear understanding of how our platform reacts strengthens the relationship we have with our partners. Because with the increased visibility of our reliability levels, we become better at managing expectations, and we have the capability of acting before the problem actually gets widespread and a lot of times felt by the customer and partners. After analyzing the pros and the cons of having a centralized versus a decentralized SRE team, the general choice was to have a central entity focused on managing SRE culture at Farfetch. Working across all the technology groups with the teams, broadcasting an SRE-centric message and its best practices, and creating central tools that will help developers identify and optimize issues in their services. The first main step was to implement service levels to correctly identify the indicators that improve the experience of our customers and partners, for them to create objectives that will help us maintain the experience. Now, considering the complexity of our platform, we decided that the best approach would be to split this into two streams of actions. So stream number one, let's call it the enterprise level, has the mission of defining and implementing the best practices that will be spread across the entire organization. This is agnostic to the particularities of a service with very low friction of adoption because it should be embedded in our pipelines and it will act as the foundation of our reliability levels. So stream number two, let's call it the startup. It's an area within our engineering group that's gonna be looking inwards to their service, understanding what's necessary for their use case and their relationship with our customers and partners. Now, this stream, it's meant to run with a ball, right? It's meant to create SLOs, create burn rates, tools, dashboards, that whole nine yards, with the goal of identifying possible problems as early as possible, as well as identifying what custom fit we need to do so we can use this at Farfetch as a whole. The ultimate goal is very simple. Converge both streams together into a unified service level strategy. Right, so to manage services at Farfetch, we use Blueprints. This is a YAML style file that describes the key requirements of a service like ports, DNS, alerts, encrypted credentials, things like that. Now, these blueprints, they act as a source of truth to the hierarchy of our platform services. Now, something important to highlight is that the owners and maintainers of these blueprints are the developers. So this puts developers right in the driver's seat, and that is so important for any strategy in a company. For the purpose of service levels, blueprints presented as the perfect location to describe SLOs of each service. Let's face it, the goal in every company when releasing a brand new feature is to reduce the friction of adoption. And here, Farfetch is no exception. So to minimize the efforts of the teams onboarding these new features, we created a proprietary and developer-friendly schema that allows teams to quickly define SLOs. So teams are now able to include things like documentation links, choosing predefined SLOs from a catalog, define rolling windows and thresholds. And under the hood, we ingest all of this information and develop a dynamic dashboard that the team can access in our Grafana system. Now, when we were starting our implementation, OpenSLO was launched, and we immediately adjusted our path to include this in our pipeline. 
We saw the value of using a community standard right from the start, allowing us to eventually leverage future integrations that were now being created, and with many of them being shared here at SLOConf 2022. So what we did is we built an exporter from the Farfetch Blueprint schema into OpenSLO. And we now use OpenSLO format as the standard language of SLOs. We then created a parser that reads OpenSLO and creates a dynamic Grafana dashboard from the information provided. So with the GitOps approach, our teams submit changes to the blueprints of the service. These changes are reviewed and merged. And then the changes are reflected in the dashboards automatically. So talking a little bit about the dashboards now, teams are able to create SLOs, not just for the service as a whole, but to specific endpoints and methods. So this depends on the needs of each team and their use case and how it integrates with overall view of the customer. One of the things that we did is we created an SLO catalog, such as availability and latency, and that helped reduce the, the need to specific setups and increase the adoption numbers. We're actually now getting extremely good feedback from the teams because before this venture, they didn't have visibility over their service levels. And with that, they didn't have the clarity that there was room to improve, and much more importantly, where this room for improvement was. Let me address both streams again. Right now, we're in the process of understanding what the startup stream has learned during their voyage into service levels, closing the gaps between the two journeys and creating a tailored solution for Farfetch as a whole to follow. At present, we're creating a beta program for some services. We're monitoring closely with the teams how we can improve the solution we're providing. So soon after, we can make it generally available to all engineering teams at Farfetch. We are extremely excited about the possibilities that this journey is creating increasing the visibility of our platform as a whole, and providing an even better experience for our customers and partners. My name is Luis Parado, Head of Engineering at Farfetch, and I'll see you next year.